But Denise, Chloe's family heartbroken after her death, telling me a young woman who was the life of the party is gone too soon. The same streets she played in as a little girl are the ones where she took her last breath. And I got one last breath out of her before she looked at me. Before she looked at me, he died in my arms in the back of my car. Nothing we could have done could have saved her. <laughs> Chloe Edwards was stabbed to death. A student at North Valley's high school, she was just 14 years old. Her mom and sister say she was bullied for over a year leading up to the stabbing. What were some of the things that that girl had said to, to Chloe? Um, you're ugly. Everyone's talking shit about you. Um, go kill yourself. Your dad misses you. Alexis said Chloe agreed to a one on one fist fight. But when they showed up at the house on Soft Winds Drive, more people walked out. When they come out the, at the house, there's multiple. It's not just one girl, it's three of them. I just seen a couple punches, a couple of this, a couple of that before my sister's on the floor. And she's talking about she has a knife. I see blood. I see her getting up and running. Alexis says that's when another boy at the scene charged at her with a knife. They're in the doorway. I can't even close the door. They're in my they're in my face with a knife in my throat talking about don't mess with me. She says they were able to get away. And as Chloe was losing consciousness, they drove back home to their house on Red Baron. I struggle going to bed every night because I know that I have to wake up the next day and go a whole new day without her. Chloe's family says that they told the school and Reno police about hateful comments and when she was attacked in the past. To Reno Police Department reports um, of my daughter being beat up by another boy. Nothing was done. But they say what really brought this fight to a fever pitch was social media. If it wasn't for social media, this story wouldn't be out there so big. But if it wasn't for social media, this probably would have never happened. Now they grieve their daughter, sister, granddaughter, and friend waiting for justice. The life of the party, she loved to dance, loved music. A 14-year-old girl has been charged with open murder and a 15-year-old boy charged with assault with a deadly weapon. I don't care if you're a kid or not. You want to make big adult decisions and you can deal with the big adult consequences. Absolutely. Both minors are held at Jan Evans Juvenile Justice Center as they await a decision that will determine whether they are charged as adults in these cases. Now sources tell us it could be a couple of weeks before that decision is made.